our Steamboat correspondent, Alan Lay, is standing by with lots of info for us. And your scene looks amazing over there. Tell us about it, Alan. Thank you, Brittany, and good morning to you. It's another beautiful summer morning here in Steamboat Springs. You know, we have the 50th annual Art in the Park on Saturday, July 8th and Sunday, July 9th at West Lincoln Park, presented by Steamboat Creates. Art in the Park features nearly 150 artist vendors, live entertainment, food vendors, and interactive creative stations, and is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on those two days. Also on Saturday, July 8th, the Steamboat Group is hosting a produce drive at City Market from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. to benefit Lift Up of Route County and help feed local families this summer. Can't make it, but still want to help local families. From June 8th to July 8th, the Steamboat Group will match up to $20,000 donated through the TFG Fund, a donor advised fund at the Yampa Valley Community Foundation. If you like what you saw at the kickoff of the free summer concert series, the opening band for that night, the Runaway Grooms, returns to Steamboat on Wednesday, July 12th at the Snowbowl Steamboat Sage. Self-described as an Americana jam roots rock band out of Eagle, Colorado. Snowbowl Steamboat Summer Music Fest is every Wednesday from 6.30 to 9.30 throughout September 27th. And a friendly reminder, please do not park across the street from the Snowbowl as parking is prohibited. You can utilize the parking at Riverside Plaza and it's just a short walk to the Snowbowl. With the Yampa River now at levels that allow commercial tubing, I stopped by the iconic backdoor sports here in Steamboat Springs to chat with owner Peter Vandekar. Now, you've probably seen Peter around town on skis, mountain bikes, kayaks, rafts, or, and of course, here in the local outdoor gear shop that he's owned since 1986. Peter's also served on many boards in the Steamboat Springs community over the years, and he was a founding member of the Northwest River Alliance, established in 1980, which later became Friends of the Yampa. This year is shaping up to be a good one for recreation on the Yampa. Let's hear what Peter had to say about how the beginning of the season is going. Good morning, Peter. Thanks for joining us today right here at the iconic Backdoor Sports. How are you? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day in Northwest Colorado, and we're very excited to, to be here the day after 4th of July. So um, the river's running great right now. Um, it did ha we did have a little bit of a delayed start, but that's a wonderful thing in Northwest Colorado because um, it means that we have a, a lot of moisture, and, and that means everything in the river business, but it also means a lot to uh, the, the ranchers and to the environmentalists and everybody needs water. So we're, <laughs> we're thrilled that the water has stayed high, but there are some safety concerns and, and we try to get into this river season in a, in a progressive manner, um, not allowing the little kids to, to go until later on in the year. And, and we're, we're starting to get into that um, level of, of river flow that we can um, allow little guys to, to head down. So, um, so now so. along those safety concerns, always recommend flotation devices, recommend helmets, them. and shoes, <laughs> not flip flops. Right, right. You got to have significant shoes. Um, sneakers are fine; they're just soggy when you get done. But um, there are river-specific shoes and river-specific sandals that are awesome for this. But you don't want to take lightly the the fact that footwear, how important footwear is. Um, if somebody got in trouble and you didn't have adequate footwear, it would be really difficult for you to navigate the riverbed, being very rocky and, and uneven with, without adequate footwear. So we really ask everybody to, to step that up. Great point. So, yeah. Now, if folks are visiting and want to come and visit Backdoor Sports and make mm -hmm. a tube rental right here on the Yampa, how do they do that? Well, <laughs> just come up to our window and the uh, cost is $25 and you sign our waiver and and pay and come back and get your booties behind us from the kids working back there and they'll give you a little safety talk learn how to how to deal with the hydraulics and rocks and and um and then you head in the river and float down two miles and we'll pick you up and give you a ride back outstanding so, yeah and so you're more than just a tube rental outfitter well, we're, we're, we're in the wintertime, we're a backcountry ski shop. In the springtime, we're a, a whitewater shop with kayaks and rafts and, and surfboards and stand-up paddle boards. And in the summertime, we turn into a little bit of a tubing shop. And in the fall, we're more of a camp shop. And then, of course, we have the wonderful Wheels Bike Shop right up front, w which are by far the, the best, um, most accomplished uh, mechanics and, and um and renters of bikes in, in Northwest Colorado. Now, friends of the show know I'm a huge live music lover, 
And you also have a little side project that you play in. Well, it's kind of my wife's rock and roll band. She's a, she's a very prolific uh, drummer and um, I got recruited into it. And of course, once you start playing with a drummer, you got an electric guitar and then um, we, we get around, but, um, but it's still just a hobby, and, but it's super fun and we love doing it. So, awesome. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. And if folks want to come check out Backdoor Sports, it's right at the corner of Yampa and 8th Street here in downtown Steamboat Springs. Yampa and 9th. Yeah, sorry, Yampa and 9th Street. Thank you. I'm one street off. That's what all I right. get for living in North Rock. Right. <laughs> and how, what's you your have? website? Oh, it's uh, BackdoorSports.com. Just so, straight yeah. up BackdoorSports.com. Right. Come on down, check out all their outdoor gear, and float down a tube on the river. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, thank you very much. That's awesome. And our friends to the west in Hayden are hosting Hayden Days on Friday, July 14th and Saturday, July 15th at Dry Creek Park. Kicking off at 5 p.m. on the 14th with live music from the Cat Pack and food trucks. Then at 7 p.m., Buffalo Commons takes the stage. The fun continues on the 15th with Yoga on the Green, a disc golf tournament, a parade at 1030, then more fun at the park with bounce houses, a cornhole tournament, and more live music from Jeremy for King at noon and Adia Clark Lay at 1.30 p.m. That's what's going on here in Steamboat Springs. Back to you in the studio, Brittany. Yoga on the green. That sounds exciting. Have you given that a try, Alan? No, um, actually, I like to do my yoga in the privacy of my own home. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> Thank you, as always, for the update.